Hey people, just wanted to uh, give you a quick update on uh, two hotheads where activism happens. I actually got uh, two, two different emails from uh, members of uh, the two mainstream political parties today on uh, what we do for activism and uh, wanted to speak to us. Number one was uh, a regular on our show, was uh, Main State Diane, uh, Main, I always say that wrong, Main State Rep Diane Russell. She had emailed me. Uh, just today, and uh, she she was talking about uh, Obama, President Obama, which I've talked about in some of my videos recently. Um, there's a Huffington Post story about President Obama. It says uh, President Obama will seek to scale back drug war in second term. There's a report that's going around uh, through an interview uh, in G GQ magazine. Actually, it's not even an interview. It's an article in GQ magazine, and it hints that uh, President Obama may may do something for us in the drug war in the second term. Um, I'm, I'm skeptical, i got to admit it. I, I've been saying this for a long time, that uh, Obama will have to come to us before his terms, term is out and uh, promise us something. And I, I think that this isn't enough. You know, to wait to the second term, I don't want to wait. I want to see him do something now. Reschedule, reschedule, right now. If, if, you know, it's going to be an interesting debate because uh, Diane Russell does want to come on to our show, Two Hot Heads, where activism happens, she's a Democrat, and I know that uh, she's definitely talks to a lot of the Democratic Party leaders, and and she's someone that's a rising star in the Democratic Party. So, you know, and she's on our side. We know that she works. She's lobbying for us. She wants to see the drug war end. So uh, it's it's very exciting to see that uh, Diane Russell is continuing to work for us. To, to speak for us and that uh, she's on this. I'm very excited about that. So no matter what happens, whether President Obama does something or not, I'm excited that we have Diane Russell coming on to our show again, Two Hot Heads Where Activism Happens, to discuss this. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get her on this Saturday, but uh, upcoming Saturday she's definitely going to come back and uh, we're going to talk about the subject. Uh, I also got another email um, from a candidate, uh, a local candidate for U.S. Congress, he's in Massachusetts. Um, he had watched uh, my YouTube video on Stephen Lynch and Fast and Furious. Came across his Google alerts. Uh, he liked the video. He checked out some of my other videos, and he sent me a quick email. Um, in the email, I'm just going to read the email actually because I, I was actually really impressed. Uh, most candidates for office don't don't uh, actually usually respond to us when we contact them. Uh, not too often do they contact us first. Um, he wrote me, Mike, great work with the video on Fast and Furious. You are a thoughtful guy who is working hard to make a difference. I am running for Congress in the new 8th District against Stephen Lynch and would love to chat to you, with you about what you would like to change in Washington. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. Regards, Joe. Um, his name is Joe Salvaggi. Uh, you can look him up. He's got a website. It's uh, Joe Salvaggi. 2012.com and uh, that's spelled S-A-L-V-A-G-G-I Joe Salvaggi 2012.com uh, definitely look him up check out his videos uh, he confirmed he's going to come in this Saturday live in the studio to Hotheads where activism happens live on Unregular Radio uh, he's a Republican running for U.S. Congress against Stephen Lynch we're going to talk about Fast and Furious we're going to talk to him about health care. We're going to ask him about how he stands on marijuana legalization. And I'm uh, very excited to have him in the studio this week. So just uh, very happy to see that people are, are listening, are watching us, they're responding to us, even the politicians. Good to get uh, two emails in two days from uh, two, two local politicians uh, who, who are following our work, supporting us, working with us. Very exciting. Our voice is being heard, and the reason is is because we have listeners, we have callers, we have you folks out there supporting us, spreading the news. Uh, the number one thing they look at, besides the content, obviously, is the views. They always want to know, do you have a listener base? Are people checking you out on YouTube? And uh, oftentimes they can see just by how many views you have, and, and, and the support that you're giving us really does make a difference. So I want to thank everyone locally that's working um, for the causes that we support. And, and the people that support the show especially. Thank you very much again.